Have you ever wondered how ships can sail through frozen waters without getting stuck or damaged? Well, they need a special kind of ship called an icebreaker. Icebreakers are amazing vessels that can smash through thick layers of ice like a hot knife through butter. They are essential for opening up shipping routes, supporting scientific research, and conducting rescue missions in polar regions and other icy waters. But what are the largest and most powerful icebreaker ships still active today? In this video, we are going to show you some of the most impressive icebreakers in the world that can make even the coldest and toughest seas look like a piece of cake. Welcome to Sky Sea Channel the channel that always discusses anything about the sea. Let's get started. Arctica Arctica is the latest and largest nuclear-powered icebreaker of Russia under the Project 22220 series. It was launched in 2016 and entered service in 2020. It is currently the largest and most powerful icebreaker ship in the world. Arctica is 570 feet long and is around 168 feet tall at its highest point. That's longer than one and a half football fields and taller than a 15-story building. It has a displacement of 33,500 tons and can break through ice up to 9.8 feet thick at a speed of 2 knots. That's like breaking through a wall of ice as thick as a car at a walking pace. It can also operate in temperatures as low as 58 degrees Fahrenheit. That's colder than the average temperature on Mars. Arctica is powered by two RITM-200 nuclear reactors that generate a total output of 175 megawatts. That's enough to power over 140,000 homes. It can carry up to 75 crew members and 33 passengers, as well as helicopters, cargo, and scientific equipment. Arctica is designed to escort large cargo ships along the northern sea route, which connects Europe and Asia through the Arctic Ocean. Arctica is truly a beast of an icebreaker that can conquer any icy challenge. Sibir Sibir is another nuclear-powered icebreaker of Russia that is made under the same project as Arctica. It was launched in 2017 and is expected to enter service in 2021. It has the same dimensions and specifications as Arctica, but with some minor improvements in design and performance. Sibir is also capable of breaking through ice up to 9.8 feet thick at a speed of 2 knots, and operating in temperatures as low as 58 degrees Fahrenheit. Sibir will join Arctica in escorting cargo ships along the northern sea route, as well as conducting scientific and rescue missions in the Arctic region. Sibir is another monster of an icebreaker that can plow through any frozen obstacle. NS-50 Let Pobedi NS-50 Let Pobedi, which means, 50 years of victory, in Russian, is another nuclear-powered icebreaker of Russia that belongs to the Arctica class. It was launched in 1993 and entered service in 2007. It is slightly smaller than Arctica and Sibir with a length of 524 feet and a displacement of 25,840 tons. However, it is still one of the most powerful icebreakers in the world, with a maximum output of 171 megawatts. It can break through ice up to 8.2 feet thick at a speed of 3 knots, and operate in temperatures as low as 58 degrees Fahrenheit. NS-50 Let Pobedi can carry up to 140 crew members and passengers, as well as helicopters, cargo, and scientific equipment. NS-50 Let Pobedi is mainly used for commercial purposes, such as escorting cargo ships along the northern sea route, and offering tourist cruises to the North Pole. NS-50 Let Pobedi is a giant of an icebreaker that can make any ice lover's dream come true. 
Tamer and Vagach Tamer and Vagach are two nuclear-powered icebreakers of Russia that belong to the Tamer class. They were launched in 1987 and 1989 respectively, and entered service in 1989 and 1990 respectively. They are much smaller than Arctica, Sibir, and NS-50 Let Pobedi, with a length of 508 feet and a displacement of 20,600 tons. However, they are still very powerful icebreakers, with a maximum output of 54 megawatts. They can break through ice up to 6.6 .6 feet thick at a speed of 3 knots, and operate in temperatures as low as 58 degrees Fahrenheit. Tamer and Vagach can carry up to 138 crew members and passengers, as well as helicopters, cargo, and scientific equipment. Tamer and Vagach are mainly used for escorting cargo ships along the Yenisei River and the Kara Sea, which are important routes for transporting coal from Siberia. Tamer and Vagach are two tough icebreakers that can handle any icy situation. Yamal Yamal is another nuclear-powered icebreaker of Russia that belongs to the Arctica class. It was launched in 1986 and entered service in 1992. It is similar in size and power to NS-50 Let Pobedi, with a length of 524 feet and a displacement of 23,460 tons. It has a maximum output of 171 megawatts, and can break through ice up to 8.2 feet thick at a speed of 3 knots, and operate in temperatures as low as 58 degrees Fahrenheit. Yamal can carry up to 150 crew members and passengers, as well as helicopters, cargo, and scientific equipment. Yamal is mainly used for commercial purposes, such as escorting cargo ships along the northern sea route, and offering tourist cruises to the North Pole. Yamal is also known for its distinctive red hull and a large image of a polar bear on its bow. Yamal is a cool icebreaker that can charm any ice fan. Shirase Shirase is a Japanese icebreaker that belongs to the Shirase class. It was launched in 2008 and entered service in 2009. It is the largest icebreaker of Japan, with a length of 453 feet and a displacement of 12,650 tons. It has a maximum output of 30 megawatts, and can break through ice up to 4.9 feet thick at a speed of 3 knots, and operate in temperatures as low as 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Shirase can carry up to 250 crew members and passengers, as well as helicopters, cargo, and scientific equipment. Shirase is mainly used for supporting scientific research in Antarctica, especially at the Japanese Antarctic stations. Shirase is a sleek icebreaker that can support any icy mission. RRS Sir David Attenborough RRS Sir David Attenborough is a British icebreaker that belongs to the Polarstern class. It was launched in 2018 and entered service in 2020. It is the largest icebreaker of the United Kingdom, with a length of 423 feet and a displacement of 15,000 tons. It has a maximum output of 24 megawatts, and can break through ice up to 3.3 feet thick at a speed of 3 knots, and operate in temperatures as low as 40 degrees Fahrenheit. RRS Sir David Attenborough can carry up to 90 crew members and passengers, as well as helicopters, cargo, and scientific equipment. RRS Sir David Attenborough is mainly used for supporting scientific research in both the Arctic and Antarctic regions, under the operation of the British Antarctic Survey. RRS Sir David Attenborough is a smart icebreaker that can honor any icy legend. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed learning about some of the largest and most powerful icebreaker ships still active today. 
If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to Sky C channel for more videos like this. Also, let us know in the comments which icebreaker ship is your favorite and why. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.